Well, it's definitely a favorite of a lot, but Esther, for anyone who's never been to the East Side Cultural Crawl, um, this is just one of the many studios participating, right? Yes, this morning we're at Octopus uh, Studios. It's one of 84 studios. We have 430 artists who are exhibiting their work this year at the Crawl. Fantastic. Now, we've obviously got some artwork here, but there are a number of different kind of artisans, correct? Yes, we have the full range. We have sculptors, we have painters, we have photographers, we have uh, jewelry making, we have ceramicists, we have guitar makers. Matt Kim right now is working on guitars and he uses what kind of materials? Well, he uses a lot of found objects and I think we're going to get to some of the objects that he uses to make his guitars. We absolutely are. Now, we should point out that the Eastside Culture Crawl starts tonight and runs through Sunday. That's correct. We have four days of artists opening up their studios to the public and we welcome anybody and everybody to come down and see what these creative souls are making. Wonderful and what an excellent experience for many people to be able to be exposed to so many different artists in one geographical area. That's right. We run over to uh, First Avenue up to Victoria Drive and then west to Main, north to the waterfront. So people can pretty much make their way by foot. Wonderful. So many options. For more details on the East Side Culture Crawl, of course, you can go to their website. And coming up later, we will chat with Kim and these beautiful guitars. All right, who doesn't love a wonderful guitar? But imagine a guitar made, in, made of things that you just don't even expect. Kim, first of all, sorry to interrupt you. Good morning. Good morning. What are you doing right there? I'm carving a neck out of walnut for the next guitar. Okay, so that kind of is probably pretty standard as far as a guitar goes, yeah. right? You got yeah. necks all That's kind right. of look the same. These guitars are unbelievable. Tell us a little Thank bit you. about these guitars. They're all made from found objects or what would be discarded by most people. So something like a cigar, bar, a cigar box. The cigar box, yeah, it came out of a, a local junk store here. Um, that one came out of my closet. So these are things that basically thought, you know what, these are going to be great um, items that we can use for instruments. And of course, you're one of the artisans for the Culture Crawl. What came first, the art or the musicianship for you? I started as a musician, and that's how I build my guitars, with that bias in mind. So these are guitars that are nice to play as well, including this one here, actually. Nelson, let's show this again. Tell us about this guitar here. Uh, that is owned by a Montreal musician, and he has played that all over the world. So they are guitars that are made for the stage. I love it. Now, you also do custom work. Tell yes. us about this newest addition to your, I want to call it a line. I don't know if I can call it a line when you're an artist. Maybe I can. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us sure. about that. Uh, that's a piece to show what you can do. Like, what do you want? So if you love, you know... Michael Jordan. Yes. You go, man, I wish I had a guitar made of a shoebox. Yeah. Man, where do you get your inspiration from? I try and build, um, I like to build with what nobody's done before. I know that nobody has ever built a guitar out of a shoebox. And you're just finishing that, so people will actually hear its debut yes. performance, I guess, at That's the right. Eastside Culture Crawl. Right. I'm going to let you get set up with this guitar here. You're going to play it for us uh, just as we get ready to go back to the studio. Tell us briefly about this one This here. is a, a biscuit tin guitar that came out of a horse barn. A horse barn. Well, guitars made out of absolutely everything. Go ahead and play that if you'd like. For more details, of course, on Kim, uh, you can come and check him out at the Eastside Culture Crawl taking place tonight through Sunday. Lots of great artisans there back at the station. Be sure to make your way. The Eastside Culture Crawl takes place tonight, actually a very special opening, but really runs right through Sunday and we're here with one of the artisans. John, what exactly are you doing right now? Uh, so right now I'm mixing some red and blue and I'm going to make a purple and what I'm going to do is demonstrate how I apply stenciling technique to my artwork. Excellent. Let's see how it goes. And we should point out that you actually asked me before the segment what my favorite color was. So you're incorporating my preference into your artwork right here. So let's That's see right. what you're doing here. So basically, I work with this paper, and it's got a whole bunch of holes in it. And I'm referencing uh, different printing pe uh, techniques from the past. So like a newspaper or like, you know, a package design or whatnot. And this is near and dear to your heart because you actually also work in advertising. <laughs> That's right, yeah. So this is how I tie together what I do in the day and just gets informed from, you know, what you find in uh, packages and logo designs and just work it into my canvases and my wood panel paintings. Excellent. Let's let Nelson uh, give everyone a little bit of an overview. Tell us a little bit about what your, um, I guess, your focus is when it comes to your artwork. It's, it's basically about examining, you know, the downtown east side and just the beauty of back alleyways and discarded materials and things like that that just kind of find themselves into 
you know, the, the street and just like kind of evaluate how they're beautiful and discarded. Now, of course, with the Eastside Culture Crawl, I mean, really, it's a chance for people to be exposed to a number of different studios and artists. What is that like for you? Because you have actually participated in the crawl before. That's right. So I participated last year for the first time. And it's really great because you get a, you get a good crowd of folk that wouldn't normally be here for, you know, checking out artist studios and whatnot. So it's really neat to expose them to what I'm doing, and they get to come in and see the space. And people love seeing where the artist works. It's Absolutely. just really cool. Absolutely. Well, for more details on the East Side Culture Crawl, people can go to the website. Again, so many options, lots of different crafts, designers, and artisans uh, that everyone can uh, get a chance to be exposed to all in one geographical area. So a lot of people attend the Eastside Culture Crawl, and if you've never done it, it's your chance to be exposed to over 400 artisans, everything from crafts, design, and of course, something like uh, slip casting. I don't think a lot of people know about. And tell us what slip casting is. Uh, slip casting is a special ceramic forming technique where you pour the liquid clay into the plaster mold. Okay, so you've got a mold like this. You're not yes. actually using like a pottery no, wheel at all. I use a plaster mold I, make, I made myself. And I pour in, and so yeah. when you look at something like this, is this just clay, literally? This is clay mixed with some uh, liquefying uh, agents. Excellent, okay, so I've got that poured yeah. in right now. And then as far as getting closer to the finished product, what's the next step? The next step, I let it stand for like a couple of minutes, depends on the size of the piece. Okay. And then we can pour it out. Okay. Yeah, let's try it. So sure, you pour it out. And then I guess that sort of leaves a, a residue yes, yeah, on it. Yes, it leaves a, so. Uh, and then you would let that dry? Yes, then we'll let it dry. Okay. Um, and then it will be ready to go after some time. Excellent, now you've got one that's been yes. sitting there. Can you yeah. show us a little bit about what it would look like? I guess even the next step? Yeah, let's try it. Hopefully it will come <laughs> out. <laughs> We're wishing you lots of luck. Yeah, yeah nice. great. And then to get it to this finished stage, does it then become almost like the regular technique of what you would normally do with yes, regular pottery? Yes, of course. It gets uh, uh, fired once, glazed, and then fired um, one more time. Wonderful. Now, you've also got lots of other different kinds of, yes. of works here. Tell us a bit about what we're seeing here. This is my uh, particle bowl series. It's hand built. Um, it's a trade secret. <laughs> oh, trade secret. That's okay. You yeah. gotta come and see it. And then this is your newest yes. line as well. Yeah, it's my new collection for fall winter 2014. It actually uses the real gold luster. I love it. And just yeah. as we get ready to go back to the station, check this out. You actually dipped a doily yes. in. Yeah. I dip a doily in clay in the same kind of thing, and uh, it burns out. And that's what. Yeah, beautiful. That's what beautiful. <laughs> well, if you want to check out the great work of Anne and all the other artists here at the Eastside Culture Crawl, again, kicks off tonight with a special uh, opening and, of course, runs right through Sunday. Go to the website for more details.